Thank Order. you, Speaker. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, I, I also want to add my voice uh, to this. And Speaker, you know, I don't know whether there is security that matters to some regions and security does not matter to some regions. Because I seriously, when people are saying Nairobi is under attack, yes, we want, we want the properties and the people of Nairobi to be safe. But, uh, Honorable Speaker, I was watching from the comfort of my sitting room the demonstrations. And picketing by constitution is given. And if Kenyans want to express themselves peacefully, so why don't they? And, and Mr. Speaker, the prowess at which the police were attacking those demonstrators, I sat down and I thought, why can the same police tackle the insecurity in northern Kenya in the same prowess? Well, Honorable Speaker, you know there are some small boys picketing and some few old men, you know the people who cannot even scare a rat from a hole. And Honorable Speaker, the kind of things we saw displayed by the Kenyan police leaves me wondering, is it really true that they have been unable to combat the insecurity in central Kenya. Why, Mr. Speaker, about 50 bandits, you know, northern Kenya, about 50 bandits have, have brought the police, the army, named them, the GSU, into a standstill. And Honorable Speaker, honestly speaking, you know Kenyans are watching us. And Kenyans are wondering, did they send us to this house to come and call each other names. Honorable Speaker, from where I sit, I was in Azimio. And Honorable Members in Azimio, I will say this because I must say, when you refuse to win elections, please deal with your matter. Yes. You know, Speaker, yes, when you refuse, because if you have known that in Kenya, for you to win elections, you must steal. You should have invested in stealing the election. Honorable Speaker. And, and you know, you know, Speaker. No, no, no. Relax. Hold your horses, members. Honorable Speaker, you know, as a mother, my heart goes out for the woman whose son was killed in Maseno. It should not have happened. It should never happen. But Honorable Speaker, if demonstrations has to continue on Monday, we have to propose a few things that they have to list down to, to, to add so that we can also think whether we can join those demonstrations. And Honorable Speaker, I want to say, because you said people should not, you know, name people in this house who cannot defend themselves. I am a Jubilee member. And my party leader, Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, defuncto. Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, in 1992, there were demonstrations in this country. In 2007, there were demonstrations in this country. In 2013, there were demonstrations in this country. In 2017, there were demonstrations in this country. For anybody to accuse Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta of sponsoring those demonstrations, you must be suffering from something we need to interrogate later. Because, Honorable Speaker, he could not have sponsored demonstrations against his own government. So I want to plead with the leaders. Much as we want to, the, much as we want, much as we want to play to the gallery, much as you want to address I don't know who, much as you want to support the government, please don't also become a praise and, praise and worship choir just to say things